okay so this is gonna be a quick tutorial for the lesson on the smart protector antivirus system we are creating before we start welcome back to iksoft original and um, on today's lesson we're going to do some retouching on our project which is the smart protector antivirus software if you have yet not subscribed to my channel do well to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos such as tutorials on educational level on all angles now before we get started let's see what we have done so far on our previous lessons now from our previous lessons we learned how to create something like this so we get a full check which will read the computer name um, the current OS version the OS platform the username and then the full check system which is the scanning file the file to be scanned um, the estimated time the affected files and then the status and then we get all these things the virus section the speed the cleanup the toolbox all these we did it so um on today's lesson we're going to see how we can add a notification or let's say a pop-up menu here if we click on um start uh, scanning or let's say quick scan we will see that it will be scanning from here so let's get started let's go to project add um a new form which is a windows form good so from the windows form we are going to create um, a separate form anyway so this is going to be called um, quick scan right so quick scan so create um, a page and call it a quick scan right so I like to um, adjust my screen size to let's say this type good and then don't don't forget to um, change the back color to blue good and then the form border style i would like to um instead of sizable um i would like to select none and then i will add my tool which is um a lip a lip okay so i will quickly add that component to my project um i will quickly add that component to my project so that uh, I get to you know get to the source code is in the link in the description below so you can um, you can download and then get all the other stuff so I'll just add the ellipse beneath ellipse okay so now it's been ellipsed so let's let's say it's 10 good so I will add a panel right I will add a panel and then on the panel I, I will dock it to the top and then um, I will change the back color instead of blue to um, white good and then um, I'll just do it this way and then I'll go to my form one and then I will copy only this close um, and minimize copy that now come back to the quick um, paste it here now send it to this section anyway so we got this good now let's go back and then let's go back to our solution explorer now let's um, open the scan now you can see this is the scan right so let's copy this copy this control C and then go to the quick scan now control V paste it right here right so there you go let's add it up here so from this section I would like to um, I would like to reduce the length of this and then um, I will just select the three of them and then um, position it somewhere here and then I will just drag this little bit back and then take these two put them here and then um, you know highlight all these tools and then um, extend it a little bit something like this right guys okay so don't forget to save your project now go back to the form one select this copy then come back 
to where here then paste it good now position it here now save your project good now we are going to tell the system anytime we click on um quick scan this will disappear and it will appear at the bottom side of our um form so this is what we're going we're going to do um go to the form double click on the form right and um this will be the code for the form so we we're going to say that um me dot hide then we say that um quick scan quick scan dot show good it's just like that and then we go back to a quick scan and then we double click on the form right which is the form load which is the quick scan load right so we're going to say that this is the code for the quick scan so that it just pop up right here so we're going to say that me dot location me dot location right equals to oh sorry equals to new new point right so inside the point we're gonna say something and what we're gonna say is um, screen screen um, dot primary screen so we're gonna tell the primary screen which is the working area um, its width should be um, so you go back to the quick scan check the form the main form as well as i was talking about now go to the size of it now check the width copy that go back to the paste it good then bring your comma it's not done yet so you will say that um screen dot primary screen dot working area dot height so for the height to you check the height and then um you know the height to is 209 so you just copy that then you paste it 209 good and that is all right that is all so um let's go to um, the main quick design let's say um this close button let's uh, let's say me dot hide then we say that um me dot hide and we say that form one dot show right good so just a simple coding then uh we are done so let's let's debug it and see how best it works anyway so so that we can see that if we are nearly done or not so i believe that we have recorded eight minutes so far we won't take much time for this project so boom your there you go now you can see that it is right here right so when you when you close it it comes back here so when you click on quick scan you will, let's say that it, it, we want it to move like that you see we want it to uh, you know you can now say quick scan full scan delete or you know infected files and the rest um, you can code so that the minimize and then the maximize box can work and <clears throat> as you can see they all work the same it depends on whatever you want to do and it's quite interesting anyway it's quite interesting so we can add a timer and we can add um we can add so many things to this so that so let's quickly add a timer and then for this timer we will turn um the enable should be false right so um for this quick scan uh we will say that um we will say that timer we will say progress bar one dot increment increment should be one anyway no it should be um let's say one anyway then we say that um progress but um sorry timer so we, we are going to call the timer so timer one dot enabled equals to true right then um we will say that um timer one dot 
interval right so we're gonna say interval equals to then let's go and check the interval of the timer one anyway so the timer one interval it is um you know it's 100 right so we're gonna say that um 50 right we're gonna say that 50 so timer one dot interval equals 50 right then we say that I believe that that is all good okay let's remove the increment right here then let's go back to the um, quick scan let's double click the timer let's paste that one here so progress by one dot increment equals to one so we say that if um, sorry I need to do some adjustment from here so we will say that if progress by one dot value equals to 100 then timer one should stop then we say that um, um, message box should pop up and say that um, maybe um, scanned scanning scan complete um, successfully and then we're gonna say that um, the message box style should be informative and then um, the heading for the message should be let's say completed right good so after this message then I believe that um, it's nearly done so we will say that progress by two dot increment um, should be um, one good so we're gonna say that um, the same thing for this um, the same thing for this if progress by one dot value equals to hundred and progress by two dot value equals to hundred right so 100 good so that is it let's let's try it out uh, let's try it out and let's see how it's it's probably how it works so we click on the quick scan then we click on the quick scan so now you can see that um it's definitely definitely it's working anyway now you can see that it sets um scan completed successfully right good so that is how probably that is how it works so uh, yeah that is a quick scan right so you can decide to work along with a um, full scan and it will take a while for it to you know work on that let's say when I click on the full scan um, yes on the full scan I would like to um, I would like to take this copy this and then paste this here right and then instead of the interval should be 50 i will say maybe 500 yes something like that let's say maybe thousand or so okay good so that that will go in for the um quick uh, for the um full scan right and then um for the full scan you see that it it will take a while for it to be uh, you know loading that means that means that um is is really checking your system um, for for deep files so after it's been um, completed um, you see that everything is quite um, nice you can you know um, hide it while it is still working so we will link it to this section so that you see that it will be loading up here whatever whatever happening from um, this quick scan you see that um, it will be loading from this section so on our next lesson that is what we're going to talk about that is what we're going to build on that's what we're going to do so stay tuned and don't forget to like share subscribe to my channel for more exciting video and today this is what we did so far so I believe that you are really learning and on our next lesson on our next topic we will see how we can implement this progress bar 
so that um, when we come to this virus section you see that it is also scanning here so that it takes the same section so um, until we meet again on our next lesson have a nice day and I'm out mm -hmm.